Welcome back. Well, what will be the world's second tallest skyscraper has achieved another milestone. The Shanghai Tower's base structure has reached its highest point. It's designed to say not only will the building become a beacon of China's economic growth, but it also sets a new standard for environmental design. Our Shanghai correspondent Ray Kuka reports on that. From a frightening height, a huge steel beam was raised above Shanghai. Six workers lowered it into place, helping create a new icon. 580 meters above the ground. Everything nearby looks tiny. They set up a standard for high-rise stuff for the Chinese uh, designers. Raising the bar. Yes, we're proud of all that. Today's ceremony marked the completion of the tower's core, but over the next year, the glass curtain outside will continue to spiral upwards, pushing the giant a further 50 metres into the air, reaching a peak of 632 metres off the ground. The Shanghai Tower is costing 1.6 billion US dollars to build. There are nine zones divided into office, hotel and retail space. Five safety floors are in between, a refuge in case of an emergency. There's enough floor space to fit 72 football fields and 106 high-speed elevators to get you in between them. Its Shanghainese designer says don't get overwhelmed by the statistics. This building is not about the height. It's not about how big it is, how tall is it. This building is about, you know, the reason we did the building, why the form is the way it looks like, why we create a vertical city concept to create a new experience for high-rise uh, uh, living or working. But also I think it's the, the sustainability and the green technology. A glass outer curtain helps balance the temperature inside. It'll be filled with internal gardens kept alive by rainwater tanks on the building's roof. Wind turbines will power night lights and the spiral shape reduces the wind load on the building by 24%. That's meant less materials to build it, a new standard for future developments. We're in every way trying to make this building uh, a model for how buildings can be built and will be built. Two decades ago, the area Shanghai Tower stands on was farmland. Now it's home to three super scrapers and China's key financial district. The Shanghai Tower will be the second tallest skyscraper in the world after one in Dubai. It'll be almost 200 metres taller than the Empire State Building. When I look at this building, it's a spiral up. It's like, uh, really represents our future. China's future? Yes. A modern marvel of engineering made in China. Ray Kuka, CCTV, Shanghai.